Hi, my name is Alex. I work in Injured Brains. I live in Germany. Let's go. Let me first introduce our team. I work in web team and our project is called Web Help. We are making documentation platform for everyone, from content creators who can easily create and maintain complex projects to readers that have a modern UI that lets them access their docs from anywhere. By the way, docs for all JetBrains products, all services are based on this platform. So this change you're already familiar with uh, it uh, at some level. Today, we will talk about the web application of this platform. It's single page application based on React and TypeScript. It consists of couple of controls, searching component, and dozen of different blocks, tables, list, and rest content blocks. All of them should perfectly match each other in any combination. How we achieve this perfect combination? We could thanks our style guide. The style guide describes everything about how our web projects should look, from fonts and gaps between blocks to colors and opacity. Also, we have a wall UI library, actually even not only one, for low level components, for example, buttons, inputs, icons, which meet all the requirements of the style guide. In our application, we widely use these components. So that's why our project, as many web projects in our company, carefully follow the style guide. Also, it's very easy to use these components because we store them in the local NPM registry and we install them as usual in dependencies from other vendors. So from these library components, which have some specific styles and logic, we construct more complex components and use them in our project. I'm going to call them blocks. For example, here is a searching block. It's input with the list of highlighted results. Feedback block. It's not complicated form with some controls. And table of contents. I will call it just talk. Component for navigation. Just link list of links. And once in another project became necessary to develop the same talk block that we have in our project. And as I mentioned before, most of our web projects try to follow a, a single style guide and the stack of this project projects is very close together. So our block could very good match with their project. Creating a new one is not very easy and cost much time. So grab our talk, why not? It's so simple, but our blocks very tightly connected with each other and with the environment. We have even had a reusing of components, but within our project. But if you just take these blocks and try to use them in your project, it simply wouldn't work. Our project is more like monolith. All components are tightly connected with the state manager and its store and some functional calling from common project folders. These tiles will fall and components will lose imports for, from the global scope of the project. We've developed our blocks only for our project and used the most simple way to do it with the global store. Blocks and their components, call functions and variables were uh, they need without ca caring about independence from the project. Also, they could call some data from other blocks. It's clear that we want to share our blocks with other projects. We should figure out how to divide them between the project and each other. Here is how to use to look uh, how he is um, how to use to look like a talk component. It's very simplified version of original code. Look at uh, update query function. It was imported from another component and used uh, in on click talk not prop. Also look at uh, its scrolling and data. They came from props. But how did they get there? Uh, they were got from the global store because fetching of talk data was in another place. And the same situation with nested components. They could uh, call some data from the global store on their own. So how we solve it? We've decided to little change architecture of our project. Firstly, we defined uh, what our blocks should have and uh, move uh, inside them everything about them, all variables, all functions, and any hooks. Functions not related to any block. But necessary for some blocks data processing, we put separately as utilities for the project. 
Also, we've gotten rid of state manager calling inside the blocks. If something uh, block needs from outside, we still wait for it uh, from the props, but we expanded API of the block, added function and data what we can keep in the block. For example, previously we just import update query function from another component. And now we are waiting for it from props. And now this component does not have any outside dependencies. We didn't, uh, we did it with all third party imports in all blocks. Uh, what's next? Uh, look at this picture. Also, we have case when some talk nodes could have a special label specified by project settings. And previously talk title component could just get the label from the store on their own. But now label goes from talk block props and not title could use the label only from his parent. So avoiding this props drilling, we started to use React context API. On the top level of the block in the parent, we declare the provider what contains all necessary functions and variables. It stores its own data and data from props. Tools inside each block have a local context from uh, which children can get all necessary data. It almost store of state manager, but only inside the block. So we didn't have to completely refactor all components inside the block. All we had to do is replace global function colon to functions from the context of the block. So that's how each of our blocks looks like. It has its own context. Each component's data is independent of the environment. Now we have a collection of independent blocks. So how we could use them? Sometimes we can use raw data as is in component and we need to do some data processing. Where, can, where we can do it? For interacting with these blocks, we've added special components wrappers. The wrappers can project function and use state manager. They can uh, do some data processing and re the results of, uh, of it to uh, our independent blocks through props. All these wrappers we use in the common layout component and all uh, that's left in the position properly our blocks and add some styles. Look at this wrapper. It has some data from global store. It does some data processing and it just passes necessary data through props according blocks API. Finally, we have some dependent blocks that are connected with each other and they almost don't depend on the environment. They don't have global functions. They don't have use, uh, they don't use global variables. What's next? How we can share these blocks with other teams? Apparently, other teams have their own re repositories with their own environment, build configuration, styles. We need to share these blocks. As I mentioned before, we have a local NPM registry where, uh, where we already keep some of our UI components library. But this library, keeps only low-level components, and our complex blocks don't fit the library. We've decided to publish uh, our blocks straight from the projects to our NPI reg NPM registry so far. Each team, each project already has access to this NPM registry, by the way. Components of UI library publish it as separated packages with their own versions. Sometimes it creates a lot of problems. When you publish package for other users, you should monitor compatibility between components with different versions. To avoid this problem, we decide to keep all blocks inside one package and versioning them together. That's how we can guarantee the capability of each block within a certain version. All blocks are distributed in a single package. However, each block has a standalone entry point and imports independent from other blocks, there before users of the package could have in their bundle only blocks what they need. Then we have decreased the number of dependencies by compiling our TypeScript code to JavaScript, our post-CSS styles to CSS, and minify all of this code. Uh, uh, dependencies uh, we left uh, only uh, that package it needs. For example, library components, uh, inputs, buttons, 
and library for highlighting code, etc. For building and publishing the package, we will need the root packages folder as a new uh, project with npm init command and set the necessary settings for the building package. So the package looks like standalone front-end project. Then uh, set publish registry and, uh, and publish the package with running commands npm build and npm uh, publish. Another project has to just install our package as dependency from npm and grab, uh, grab any block and put it in their wrappers with data and styles. Here's an example how ready another project are using our blocks. It's uh, uh, our talk on IntelliJ ID web page. Uh, here is our talk in official web storm page on JetBrains.com website. And here is a talk in official Rust plugin page for plugin site. Uh, have you noticed how our projects look the same? They're different, but common style guide makes them in one style. That's why our talk perfectly match the style of another projects. We successfully published the package with our blocks and get some useful feedback from other teams. I would like to show one more example. Here is our talk and uh, also search block in Kotlin documentation. Look at the search block. It takes query from input, immediately start to search and appears result in a list. Uh, here is a simplified uh, quote of search block. Each time when the query is changing, we run the search function. Inside it, we call our some search engine and somehow process the results uh, from the engine. Even another project data format and search engine is the same as in our project. They can use this block as is. But what if isn't e what if it's not? Sometimes other projects have some different scenarios to use our blocks, and uh, our way to data processing is not compatibility for them. So we decide to move functions from the block and wait for them from props. And another pro project in wrapper can process data for their own and still use our search component. But what if a project had the same data format as we have in our project? For this case, we've noticed result, we've moved result processing function as separated models and they can input them uh, from the package and use in uh, their uh, function. Process data and continue to use our block without any change. This pattern we will apply it to all our blocks. At the moment, you can build our application almost entirely from the package by choosing the necessary function, uh, blocks, hooks for your data type or write it yourself. As we have done in uh, JetBrains Marketplace in plugin documentation. Our package is still in beta stage and is available for internal projects of our company. We are going to move it already in our UI library repository or standalone repository and invite users of our package to support new features and optimization API for doing it more flexible and useful. But this project already helps our colleagues reducing the hours or days of developing complex blocks. Thank you for attention. Bye.